Welcome to a Runs on Radix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works, here today with Lucas from OltiSwap. Welcome, Lucas. Hi, Christoph. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> really awesome that you had time to come in today. I believe you got something really, really exciting for us to the, today, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Finally, some more airdrop action with OltiSwap. So <laughs> it's been a while, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we can finally show you guys our next great ideas about token creation and awesome. token competition. So what about uh, you run me through so I can already participate or we show everyone how to participate? Absolutely. Let's go. Awesome. So let's go. Um, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, just uh, go to osiswap.com. Yes. And at the left hand side, you can see our menu bar and there's the token wizard. Yes. Let's go. I'm going into the token wizard. Oh, uh, OK. So now I need to I can create my own token. Is that correct? That's correct. And awesome. it's quite, quite easy actually on, on Radix. So just fill out a few fields and you're actually good to go. Awesome. So I would say um, we just make it easy on me. I, I'm just going to create the Luki token. <laughs> so awesome. So I would say name Luki, uh, symbol Luki, L-U-K-I. Yeah. Uh, how many, how many should we make? A lot of fives. A lot of my lucky all number. right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna do five times five. Um, <laughs> description. Uh, okay, it says the best uh, down there. It says the best token on Radix. All right. Uh, it will be definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I can um, feel it already. Uh, so, in preparation to this video, I've already <laughs> uh, found a fitting picture. So this one. So. Yes. Yeah, I think you've got the image dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awesome, awesome, awesome looking cat. Um, awesome. But Did, just to make yeah. sure, um, so it would be even better if you create your own image and mm -hmm. upload it to a page and copy paste the, the image address. Or you can choose as well some, some pages like Pixabay to go for copy by free pictures. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, the more effort you put into it, the higher your chances are to win the prize, actually. Absolutely. And the more recognizable it is and the better the brand is, is obviously. Yeah. But... In order to make it easy on myself, I just took a cat and it looks it's a little bit doinky. And I think this is, this is very good. So uh, the info URL, I would say we find Lucas at altiswap.com. <laughs> Am I correct? Lucas at, okay. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting URL. <laughs> Go for altiswap.com. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. So, yeah, the problem is I have an English keyboard, that's why. So... Uh, <laughs> Um, so osiswap.com, then I would say osiswap, um, tags, um, uh, meme token and fun. Do, do yes. I need to, to know anything about the tags or is it just how it's categorized on your website? Yeah. It's basically also attract uh, like a metadata on, on ledger. So mm -hmm. people uh, visiting that resource in, in the end can also check certain tags. Okay. Ah, it's a meme token. So mm. sometimes it's good to have some categories. People have a, 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 some, some clue about it right away. Yeah. So choose some, some nice tags that mm -hmm. fits to yeah. your project. I mean, as everywhere in this project, I would say the more effort you put in, um, the yeah. higher the <laughs> rewards, so to say. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, depth definition. Um, could you explain a little bit about that? Yeah. That's interesting because uh, in the end, if you just create a token, uh, it's like, everything is set in stone but if you want to change certain metadata afterwards like the, your token uh, picture or or um, description text and something like that uh, you need to like a badge you will receive like an mm -hmm. owner badge so i would also recommend to copy paste your address your wallet address into this field so yep. you're able to sh change uh, certain metrics afterwards awesome so in order to find this address uh, i will just go up here where Absolutely. I already am logged in into OSIswap, I can copy paste it. Um, Do it. Yeah. Awesome. So after I filled in all these values um, and made sure that I have selected 18 divisibility and not to track total supply, um, I press create token, correct? Yes, let's go for it. Let's go. Oh, uh, yes. And awesome. the magic of transaction manifest is already popping up and in this case you can see you're also receiving your owner badge uh, after signing this trans transaction so okay. everything seems like expected awesome yeah just wait a second so it's also a small fee to create a token and you can already start uh, adding the first liquidity to your new cr just created Luki token yes 
And, and as you can see also in your wallet, the 55,555 <laughs> token are already in your wallet and also yes. your um, owner badge. And for, as a requirement for this uh, um, competition, we have to start with $1,000 uh, of minimum liquidity. So at the time, we have to check what, what what's the amount in XRD at the time when you're starting creating the, your token. So it's a, around about 24, 25 K in XRD currently. Yeah. Um, so what you have to check for yourself at the time. Uh, so we just want to showcase it to you how the process will work with like, let's say 200 XRD, but just to make sure. So you need more than that to be yeah. uh, eligible. So listen carefully, you need at least a thousand USD in your <laughs> pool. Otherwise it's not a valid submission. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, but for the sake of argument, basically I only have 300 XRD, so I need <laughs> to make use of those. Um, how many XRD should I put in here? Does uh, it work just, with any amount? Uh, yeah, just go for the 300 just to see what, what's happening, okay. actually. So, so I'm we doing did 290 this. because I need still some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. that's true. And also the, nice to see uh, the, the automatic cal calculations behind it because also the requ one of the requirements besides 1,000 in liquidities also start with fully diluted market cap of 10, 10K. So can already check if you are meeting that requirement. So mm -hmm. you would start now with this initial uh, pool with $12 in market cap. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit off. Uh, so yep. you can also check, cross check if you're also meeting this uh, requirement. Yep. So we just wanted to make sure that people are really serious, uh, want to start a serious project and also go for a challenge uh, to push some some new projects some mm -hmm. new ideas uh, so don't start just with some yeah let's no, say you don't uh, want any low effort submissions yeah yeah, yeah. so understand. therefore yeah. just starting with ten dollars or something is doesn't really make sense right so but just go for the um the process now in this case if you're providing the full amount of 55k in the uh, in the pool and also 300 yeah, okay, it's not 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 created yet. The pool. Um, yep. I was just, just I was just nosy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was just nosy. So also another thing to uh, be be uh, um, careful about yep. if you're uh, for instance provide the full amount of liquidity, you have no token left for your team or for airdrops or something like that. So also make sure that you are already have certain, some some sort of tokenomics in mind. Uh, how the sh share will be and also maybe make it even public in, in Telegram or other chats and also on your website. Uh, so I maybe would recommend to go with 50% of the max supply, of the top, top supply in the, in the pool. And so you have some, some other tokens left to, uh, for whatever other uh, things you also want to promote, right? So, and yeah, even late, later when there are some, some things like locking or uh, can also use other tools uh, to make sure that people are even more comfortable uh, trading this token when, mm -hmm. when they are sure that team tokens are locked or something like that. So okay, also yeah. a lot of other things to be um, yeah, careful about. But I'm sure uh, you will have a lot of people who already made meme tokens before. So yeah. it's not <laughs> that much of an issue. So let's um, create this pool, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so it gives me another transaction manifest and, yeah. ah, okay. So I'm receiving a liquidity pool token, right? Correct. So in this case, you're providing the full, the total, total supply of Luki token, um, with 290 XRD and receiving, uh, this amount of LP tokens back. I have to pay the fee of two XRD as well, mm -hmm. 2.24. After you're uh, signing this transaction, the first pool is created. Yeah, I, I want to go that. for it. <laughs> yes. So let me quickly sign this. So, yeah. Success. Yes. Yeah. Waiting a second. So there, there, there we are. So now this pool component is visible on our website. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you could do a search now for Luki. It should be already visible. Maybe it takes some minutes. I'm not sure if it's visible right away. Okay, it's already there, right? Yes. So now we can see you added your first liquidity with the full the total, total supply. And the first pool is created with at the moment $25 in liquidity, right? Mm -hmm. So 
obviously also all the people will see that you just provided this amount of liquidity so it's yes. really really thin so this also will cause a lot of price impact even for small amounts so mm -hmm. therefore that that's that's also one of the reasons we wanted to go with a, with more uh with a with a higher uh, fully loaded market cap in the beginning mm -hmm. so also people feeling more comfortable actually trading because uh, <laughs> these small pools will cause a really high price impact okay so um, now that we did all of this, how do we submit um, to your competition? Yeah, so in, in, in the end, it's just there's the certain, you need to meet certain requirements. So it's yes. like you have to create a pool, uh, the token after January 19th mm -hmm. and before the end of the comp competition, that's uh, February 12th. Okay. Yeah, we will provide a like Google Docs sheets, you can awesome. actually uh, copy Perfect. paste the stats we need. Most of the stats are already on Ledger, so you don't have to uh, do a lot in the end. Just maybe share your socials like a Next account and also Telegram, maybe even Discord, whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. how, how big your scope is. And yeah, then we are good to go. Thank you very much. I'm Christoph from RDX Works, today here with Lucas from Oldswap. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much.